good early afternoon everybody what is up it is rapidfire x and i'm going to be showing everybody how to set up keyboard and mouse controls on pcsx2 emulator all right so first let's open up our pcsx2 emulator oh all these new downloads i'll just skip Let's go over to our settings and we are going to go down to controllers. And from here, we got our enable SDL input source, enable SDL raw input source, DualShock 4, DualSense enhanced mode. Now, let's see. Okay, PCSX2 allows you to use your mouse to simulate analog stick movement, enable mouse mapping. And now, let's see. This one's set up for my controller. I think I'm just going to automatically map this for... Not connected, don't show. Bindings, automatic, or keyboard. Okay, we have a slight problem. We have froze. We'll just let this load, see if it automatically sets up keyboard and mouse. Automatic. Mouse. No generic chip. Okay, so looks like we're gonna have to go here. We'll just change this setup real quick. So automatic with mapping, and what I like to do is this is keyboard up and all that for D-pad. We can keep that W A S D for our left analog stick. Instead of using T, F, H, G for our right analog stick, click on the up, move your mouse pointer up, left, move your mouse pointer right, left, down, push it down, right, push it right, and there you have your right analog set up to be used for mouse, you have your left analog set up to be used for WASD, and your right D-pad can be set up for up, left, right, down, keyboard. Now, let's see, what do I want to use? R1 for E, I can deal with R1 being E, L1 being Q, yeah, I can deal with that. L2, 1, L, R2, 3, easy keyboard with maps to remember. And honestly, best spot is easy as it is for setting up keyboard and mouse on an emulator. Yeah, you can mess around with your face buttons like triangle, square, circle, and X. But personally, I don't mind mine being I, J, L, or K. It's somewhat manageable. And as for everything else like your oh, motors and keyboard motors, the keyboard doesn't have a motor. <laughs> Let's see, everything else is set. Okay, we got up, left, right, down for D-pad. All right, that's about as simple as it is for setting up for keyboard and mouse on emulator. And now I am just gonna set this back for controller. All right, hope everybody enjoyed. Hope the content could help you out. Thank you for viewing. And please do subscribe if you wanna view more future content. Have a nice day.